Hello? Oh. Knock, 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 knock. Oh. Hi. Is anyone home? Uh, barely. Hello! Welcome to IMHO. In my homosexual opinion, I am Auntie Chan. And I'm Dixie Lynn Cartwright. Apparently that wasn't clear last no. week. Yeah, sorry about that. By the blonde wig, we can't tell that you're no. not Chan. I know, it's weird. It's weird. Well, we're both clearly uh, ants, so mm -hmm. that's confusing. Little itty bitty little ants. Um, clink clink, another clink. week. Yes, a we big went, week. Uh, a big, big week. week. It was a big week. Big, big week. Big yeah. stuff to talk about. And I was worried because I saw the tweets from the other queens on Twitter saying, oh, drag is inherently political, political this, I was like, why are they talking about being political? Mm-hmm. It's a Trump episode. Yeah, you found out why. You found out why. Um, so, who went home last week? Honey Davenport. Oh, yeah. Remember, she was begging. With yeah. her VCR tape dress. Oh gosh, she begged so hard. It hurt. So that happened. They came back in the workroom. They pretended to be shook about it. I don't remember anything like exciting happening once they got back in the workroom. Tears. I remember Mercedes um, having a moment of clarity. Okay, I need to take this seriously. And we're getting her storyline of it's time that I open up. Okay. Um, yeah, maybe the too late. Of at this point, or maybe she <laughs> she opened up and we said, close it back down. We're yeah. good. You don't, oh, yes. You don't need that. Um, oh, okay. we've seen the episode. Oh, yes. How it ends. Yes. Um, spoiler alert for those who haven't seen the episode. Why are you watching this? They, did they go right into, like, the next day they announced the main challenge? Because there's no mini challenge, was there? There is an, oh, it was the Rachel, oh, come Rachel on now. Maddow. Rachel Maddow. Rachel Maddow. I tried to block that out, and I'll tell you why. Oh, God. You're a registered Republican. I, too, am a registered Republican. <laughs> we'll get to that. But Silky Nutmeg Ganache has a master's degree and is going for her PhD. And? Colonial. 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 I would... Did she say colonial? She said colonial, colonial. Colonial. She said KFC. She, right? she said KFC, which made me think like, so you know that's colonial. So you know that's colonial. You know that's colonial, right? Are I you don't playing know. dumb? I don't know. Are you playing dumb? I just wonder where that master's degree is from. Is she a phoenix? Did she rise? University of is Phoenix. She, yeah, is she a DeVry? Did she, is she ITT get tech? pulled in through a Spotify commercial? Like, <laughs> where is she getting her education from? Yeah. I mean, is your degree worth anything these days? Oh, it's worth uh, $30,000 worth of debt. But I did change lives with it. I did change lives with it. What about your degree? Oh, my comedy degree? Yeah. How's oh, that, going? that was worth $50,000. Yeah. Oh, it's really paying off now. Oh, yeah. I love being in a bedroom. Waka waka. Um, guest bedroom girl. Guest bedroom, pardon me. Um, okay, so, was there anything, uh, well, Vanjie, but Vanjie's cute when she does it. Like, when, she couldn't pronounce a word, I can't remember what it was, but I, it, Any of them? It was kind of adorable. I thought it was a really cool challenge. I thought it was cute. Uh, I love that they provided those horrible wigs, and Akira turned hers around, because she is not following the rules, she does what she wants. <laughs> Oh, you don't think Akira is a rule follower? No, 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 no. She makes everything herself. She decides. She is the decider, and that's why I love her deeply. I was about to say, give me your IMHO. Oh. I think she is the most interesting yep. and underrated queen on the Correct. season. Correct. I think we're sleeping on her, and I think once we get, once we cut some of these peripheral queens, I think she's really going to rise to the top. Oh, yes. Like a beautiful state. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. Peripheral queen. I, I... I pronounced her name wrong. Uh, Mercedes. <laughs> if you take all the extra skin from Evie Oddly and put it into a human, you can make Mercedes. Yes, connective tissue. That was kind of crossing the line. Yeah. I don't know if I should have said that. No! Girl, first of all, Evie Oddly has an amazing sense of humor. If you haven't followed her on Twitter yet, oh, do yeah. so. Oh. Uh, she's also watching, so we have to be nice. I'm just kidding. Of course we'll be nice. We love her. Um, she's the yeah. best friends. She, we are her new best friends. We friend. are Evie Oddly approved best friends. Yeah, that's so nice. Anyway. That's so nice. I don't know that she wants to hang out with like a 30, almost 35 year old man. Um, but sure, you can if you want to. Sure. I'm here. It hasn't hurt you yet. Well, emotionally. They announced the main challenge after all of that. Mm -hmm. um, it, oh, Scarlet won. So she got to choose all of the parts. Correct. Which you know gave Scarlet a little bit of a boner. She's like, <laughs> okay, I'm in the power now. 
Um, what do you think of Scarlett's performance so far this season? Because she is getting a lot of screen time. I, I mean, I think she's doing really well. I think so, too. I, I, literally, the third. this is the third episode I've done, and, and every episode I say this. There's an attitude issue I think I need to work my way through. You gotta warm yourself up I think it. it might be me at this point. Um, but yeah, because you know, really well. people are scared of you when they first meet you. They don't know what, what to think. Well, they've never met a model in real life. I mean, that's not something you're prepared for from no. school. No, okay, fair enough, Ugh. fair enough. Okay, so she gets to decide to trump the rusical she is choosing. Um, Scarlett's choosing all the parts. Okay, let's, so, let's go through the parts. Well, but first, the first part they really talk about is Shandy, because that's the lead. No one wants to do Shandy, so who volunteers? Uh, the one yeah. that can't fully speak sentences. Yeah, Mercedes. She wanted the main role. Oh, Ooh. and you could tell the whole group was like... Because, like, you have... You can't In let unison, that happen. butthole clench. Yeah, oh my gosh. So, so, well, let's be honest, like, maybe look more, that's as tight as mine Let's be real. This point. I was about to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm about to swallow this stool. <laughs> um, no, oh, stool I mean, on stool action. <laughs> let's get that on camera. Um, uh, Kellyanne Conway as Evie Oddly. I thought that was a funny. Oh, that was great. Funny choice. Oh, that was a great choice. Hilarious. And, but who said that it's because she already looks like the Crypt Keeper? Right. Oh. Kind of, that was a little shitty, but funny. She's uncircumcised everywhere. I bet. I bet. Everywhere. Okay. She is. Just peel it back. She, yeah. Peel it back. Peel it back wherever you want. I mean. Okay, well then let's just get into like the challenge itself. Because like nothing else happened in the episode that was like a lot. Oh, wait. Oh, oh. Choreography. Yanis Marshall. How do we feel about her? Oh, I love Yanis Marshall. No. Oh. How do we feel about how she, like, was kind of mean the whole time? Did you think? I think it's cutthroat. Okay. You gotta do it or you can't do it at all. First of all, all of the stuff, like, when they were doing the thing where they all had to slowly go down and then spread their legs, and that was where Evie talked about how her knees pop out whenever they want to. Mm. Um, Everyone was doing that. They're making everyone do that. But in the end, Evie was the only one who did it. That was the Kellyanne Conway choreography. And a lot of the choreography they were showing was only done by one or two characters. So they were making everyone learn this stuff. And then when I watched on the runway, a lot of the like, a lot of the choreography was like step touch simple stuff. So mm -hmm. all this intricate stuff I never saw. I mean, I'm sure it's like he realized very quickly that these are not trained he's got to heel dumb it dancers. Down. Yeah. Oh absolutely. But it was still like they they made it up to be this big like dramatic like, oh it's so intricate and they're really gonna fall flat on their fucking dumb fucking drag queen face. Maybe not that bleep, 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 bleep. Yeah, I don't know why that got so like mean with you that. got you got yeah. heated. I know I did. Do you dance? Uh, obviously, I am music. You I model, dance. you dance, you sing, you uh, act no. a fool. I, I mean, of course I did show choir, so... Oh, but that's just like one, just two, where, three, well, four. That's, I, I didn't even say just. Do you know how hard it is to do a jazz square going to the right and then immediately pivot and do it to the left? No. It's not that hard. No. I am not a dancer, but there is a dancer here, a drag queen here, Denali. <gasps> Very beautiful. Yes. Your friend. Very good. Your friend. Very good. Uh, beautiful both in and out of drag, which makes me sick. She does uh, dance classes for drag queens. Um, you were there. With I went. I went. With T-Rex. With T-Rex. Um, T-Rex likes to make fun that I, you know, may not have looked amazing while doing it, but I remembered every move. And mm -hmm. um, T-Rex made fun say, of you. That's more than I could say for T-Rex. Mm -hmm. That's all I'm saying. She may have missed a step or two. If you've ever Actually, seen hot water poured on a baby deer, it's y'all dancing. One hot... It's y'all dancing. I... I was like scalded Bambi. So, no, I'm not. Are you a dancer? Um... You move. Not really. I move. You move and I dance. can like... I can do like house dancing. Like I used to take a house dance class. This is called jacking or you kind of just make a circle with your body and you... No, I, I don't know how to okay. dance. But I have taken a hip-hop dance class, and I like to say that I am not not a dancer. So any other parts that you want to mention? Raja. 
Raja O'Hara. Raja, when she said, yeah, I do this dance, I do this dance, I do this dance, and then he got on her and she was like, well, what I meant to say is I did it 15 years ago. And I was like, uh-huh. Girl, I did Algebra 1 15 years ago. Like, that doesn't make, like, I wouldn't be walking around saying that I know how to do, uh, what do you do in Algebra? Numbers? Uh, it's I don't like, know. it's the language of math. Mm-hmm. And it's got N's and X's and Y's instead uh, right, of twos and threes right. and fours. But the thing with Raj is, that. like, she, she gave me dance instructor vibes. Mm -hmm. She gave me the vibes of, like, oh, I'm a coach. Come on, ladies, let's go. Where's that angle? Show me. Pop it, pop it, pop Maybe she she's the, it. but maybe she's the Abby Lee Miller version of that, where she used to dance, but uh, now she's a dance coach because she can no longer do it. Hey. Those who can't do, go to teach. jail. She's oh. out of jail now. She's out of jail. Oh, thank God. Yeah. Kellyanne Conway. Kellyanne Conway. Her, her face was perfect for it. Okay, so can I, okay, real yes, quick. Yes, you can. Though. Loved it. I loved it. I thought it was brilliant. But, but, okay. I get compared to her a lot because I'm also a tired blonde Republican. And so. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, we skipped over oh, Sophie. We skip oh, okay. So you say Republican, now I'm triggered. The, the Did part you buy that? Did you buy that the woman who can't say Colonel is trying to uh, infiltrate the Republican Party and uh, rip them down from the inside? Girl, you're not a secret agent. You ain't Osmosis Jones. I don't know. She could be like a woman. She could be just all nesting dolls inside. Like, I, I don't know what Silky is. Mm. I, I, wouldn't be, I would be surprised if, like, the finale, she just rips her head off and there's another one, a smaller one, and then we just keep going to the end, and then she's like a jelly bean. Like those dolls. I have no idea. Yeah, I have no idea. Okay. She was a great Oprah. She was a great Oprah? Oprah when she, like, complained. And I knew with the editing, when she's like, I don't want to be Oprah. Fine, I'll do it. First of all... Who, do, who doesn't want to be Oprah? It is an honor and a privilege. To be Miss Winfrey. To be Miss Winfrey. So, no. And, but I then, really of course... You. Yeah. That really hurts you. Oprah. Your eyes are watering. Oh, it's Oprah. You can't, I can't talk about Oprah without getting choked up. I, it's, she was, she was a lot for my, my generation and up. Like, she just, you literally ran home every day to see Oprah. <gasps> Oprah told you what to think. It's, How it's hard. A good friend. Well, there was yes. Well, and the internet wasn't really a thing at that point, at least not how it is now. So, like, truly, Oprah was, like, kind of a... She kind of ruled the world. She did. She was the mother I never had. Mm-hmm. The sister everyone deserved. The friend, that, I don't know how to quote her, but this is her talking about Gail. Yeah. This is her she talking was, about Gail. Yeah. Uh, the mother that uh, Roxy Andrews never had. That's for sure. <sighs> well, she had her for a few brief years. The bus stop she deserved. Yeah. She, 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 <laughs> I, I always would play, like, Kellyanne Conway, because she's always just kind of like... I would have played it more like tired, which clearly would have been the wrong choice because she killed it. But, mm -hmm. you know, like, she's just always kind of like this. And she's always just like, she can't believe, like, what she's saying. Like, it, like she has to, like, disconnect from herself because, like, she knows everything she's saying. It's just, like, mm -hmm. impossible. And, like, why would you even, like, think that? And, like, blah, 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 blah. Like, that's always Kelly and Conway to me. It's more of a, like, uh, animated corpse. Um, but Evie played her is just, like, straight up. Also, the fact that Kellyanne Conway has a lot of loose skin on her face to begin with, immediate typecast for her. Oh, shit. You know what I mean? You know what? I thought that was a pattern that he had shaved into his into his hair. Oh, when he... Yeah, I always thought that. And then when he did that, I didn't realize that was, like, a part of it. But, like, I don't know. I want to see her put that in a ponytail. I don't... <laughs> Ooh, do you want okay. to talk about Nina West as... Sarah Huckabee Sarah Sanders. Sarah Huckabee Sanders. The, okay, let's say that so everyone great. had the lip sync on this down. I didn't know that they were going to lip sync. Except, I gonna, for except for Mercedes. Yeah. Everyone had the lip sync down, which I thought was very impressive. Nina's so funny. Uh, Nina was so, so funny. So funny. She has the clowning down. It, uh, I don't know if it all goes to Scarlet. I don't know how much she was actually like, you're going to do this part. But, like, everyone was so well cast. Plastique oh, I agree. Looked like Melania Trump. She did. She did. Oh, let's talk about Hillary Clinton, too. I liked it. I liked it. I I think um, this was Sugar Cane's episode for me. Yeah, 
I thought she did great. I thought she looked great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Her runway, I just thought this was like very much her element. Mm -hmm. We really need to talk about the best part of the entire musical, Miss Ginger Minge. Oh, I didn't know that was her. As like, as obnoxious as she could have been in that role, like Ginger knew like I'm supporting, I'm just part, what, she wasn't like overly obnoxious with it. She was oh, just yeah. like the right amount of like Trump obnoxious. I loved it. I thought Ginger Minj, like, she's the winner of season 11 for me. Akira was, was Stormy, Stormy Daniels. Daniels. It was fun. I, yeah, I thought she, was, she gave you sexy. Yeah. Which is what Stormy yeah. is known for. Um, I, I mean, I will say as much as, you know, I continue to talk about Scarlett, I think I might actually be in love with her at this point. I don't know. Oh, I'm okay. Like so, no, I'm just so, like, obsessed with her. Um, we don't want to be around. Now I can't, yeah, I don't know, but um, her Betsy DeVos was so funny to me. Oh. I mean, yeah. a lot of it was she was very lucky with the material, like the the person who provided the voice with the like Midwestern accent and all of that, I loved. Um, but I thought she looked great. And then it was really, it was a really small moment, but when she like came back and she's like, can you believe it? I'm back. Um, first of all, the best line of the whole show was Betsy DeVos saying, I've never even been in a school before. Right. That oh was my. the best line. Here's the thing about this challenge. This was like the best written challenge uh, I've seen in a while. In a long time. In a long time. Sex in the City 3 didn't do it for you? Oh. So the guest judges, by the way, Tiffany, New York, oh, Pollard. Oh, Pollard. Friend of T-Rex now. She's brought her out for drag mask. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. So good. Mm -hmm. You know, I hate to brag, but I'm Tiffany Pollard approved. What do you mean? I was in that show and oh, she and liked it. <gasps> she liked my ass. Uh, and then the other guest judge is, honestly, he's been my crush for like 15 years now, uh, Joel McHale. You will like him. Uh, yeah. yeah, he's like a hot, tall, muscular, straight, kind of douchey, white man. Do you think he's dumb hung? Of course I love him. You think yes. he's dumb hung? Yes. I think he's got goofy dick. Have you seen him in person? What? What? Go ahead. Goofy dick. Explain that Goofy me. dick is those boys that are always playing around all the time. They're joking all the time. And then when it comes to the bedroom time, like they just slap you on with their dick and they're like doing bits the whole time and it's humongous. <laughs> humongous, dumb, goofy dick. And they're always like making voices in your ear. They're just like, <laughs> while they're pounding you down with their nine incher. Goofy I, dick. I'm, a, I'm, I'm so into Have you that. had it? <laughs> I, I, I guess I have, dick. I didn't know. I'm a talker. I'm a talker in sex. And I don't mean like, like, ooh, daddy, ooh, that's my, that's open me up. Like, I'm not, no. Uh, um, uh. But I, I like to talk. I like to relive my day. I like to do, you know, like I, make checklists. I giggle. I think sex is funny. And so I giggle a lot. And so, you know, I might be in the middle of providing a service for someone with my mouth. And then I'll stop and I'll be like, this crazy thing happened to me today. And I'm talking to it like a microphone. Bing, bing, bing. Is this, is this thing, thing on? on? Oh, I do. Come yeah, on. I'm a talker. Yeah. So Joe McHale. And Joe McHale making Michelle Visage so mad. So what was going on there? How was he making her mad? Because he was screaming, that. yeah, yeah. And like being like very obnoxious. And being very, like, straight male energy. Mm. And she was not having it. Mm. But she also kind of, like, smirked. So I think she was kind of enjoying it as well. He's also, they like... Bugged. So let's go to the runway. Okay. First of all, Mama Roo. Well, Mama Roo. Tell me. I love the colors. I, love I think it. she looks better she than looks she's great. looked in a long time. Yeah, she looks great. She was beautiful. Yeah. The hair. She There's like something candy. about the hair. Yeah, she it was very, like, candy. like, beachy hair. Evie Oddly. <sighs> I loved this. A clown look. I love a clown. It was, it was so smart in what she did. The headpiece was so smart. Boo Boo the Fool. You may have heard of her, you've never seen her before. And that makeup was clean as hell. Right. The skirt, I loved. Loved. I loved it all. Yeah. Plastique. Plastique and Cardi B's dress. She was very happy to say that. She was. It was um, fine. She said it was Madame Butterfly. I've seen Madame Butterfly. She don't look that good. 
<gasps> she doesn't look that good. So Four plastic butterfly. Does yeah. she die? Does she die? Does she die? Does she die? I think uh, someone dies in that. Someone play. has someone to die. Someone has to. It's die not a plan unless someone dies. No, Raja. I loved it. Oh yes. I loved the like the chaps that kind of had like an orange shape. She had like that orange thing on her. And then she had like an orange heart on her butt. Every drag queen has a pair of chaps. Am I wrong? I don't. But, but yes, I, I think it's like a You know staple. what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drag queens who like try have chaps. I, I have chaps, I, I, yeah. I don't try. I think like the last couple challenges, she's fallen short hair. Like the whole outfit for me is like a yes. And then we get to the top of her head and I'm like, Needs big hair? I don't know. I don't know needs that it even hair. needs big hair. This is just this particular pussycat wig almost looked unfinished, which I don't know how you do to a pussycat wig. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Scarlet Envy. I oh. liked it, but it moved so weird. Uh huh. Do you remember that? I think it's because the top of the dress wasn't curved out. It yeah. should have been shooting out of that waist. Yes. It, it could have used a bit more volume but at the top, but a, a beautiful great. dress. Beautiful dress, dress beautiful hair, beautiful mm -hmm. makeup. Okay, <gasps> Akira. Ooh. Love. The one that I'm on with the boom assistant. The boom assistant. She was Nicki Minaj. No, keep going. Looking blazing up. Got stacks on deck like he's saving up. And he ill, he real, he might put a deal to not. But I'm kind of in a right to not bail. He cow, he do, he might say a call. He on in the ebb and Can I say coke on camera? Not anymore. Okay. Yeah. Um, Loved. Nina West as a giant orange Hello Dolly. Did you like it? You I sound like you don't like it. I didn't. Oh, okay. I didn't. I, I love, she said, I'm a, I'm a costumey queen. I love costumes, don't get me wrong. Last week, I talked about the God with the Wind costume yeah, that I wanted yeah. to. It didn't make sense to me. It didn't make sense as to why, why she it was went, orange. Why would she interpret Hello Dolly as orange? It didn't make sense. There wasn't like a clever twist to it. Silky. S Silky in the dress that she could not walk in, which made me giggle when New York said, take your time, girl. I think the gown is beautiful. It's very intricate. Beautiful gowns. Beautiful, beautiful gowns. gown. Ariel's costume. It was uh it was okay. It was cute. Yeah. I mean, she she kills it with looks. And I will say I think because she is so polished and we is known for that from Instagram and she gets so much like acknowledgement, I do think it's probably kind of like a rude awakening for her to come on the show and like no one's freaking out over her looks. Her hair is always perfect. Her makeup is always perfect. Her makeup is always perfect. Always perfect. The yeah. costume was was cute. Oh, Mercedes with her huge reveal. Oh, remember <laughs> when she had that tiny little napkin? <gasps> and she goes, you won't believe what's <gasps> underneath here. The bottom half of my <laughs> bodysuit. <laughs> Reveals into skinned legs. What did you want to see? Bones? I don't know. Girl, you know what to expect. She just had this tiny little like sheer fabric. And I was like, is she, wait, what is she revealing? Oh. Yeah. It's like she revealed. Legs. All right. Vanessa Vanjie. Vanjie Mateo. Showgirl. Love Orange it. showgirl. A Loved showstopper. It. Very similar because she loves red, so it was almost red, so she felt comfortable. Yeah, she does the pasties and the little tiny center waist. The no titty. Yeah. I love titty. I know, you really do. What are yours made of? Um, leftover skin. Brooklyn Heights. Brooklyn Heights. She made that costume. Fifth element kind of looking self. Looking oh, okay. ass. The coat was cool. Coat was cool. Coat was cool. Belt was cool. Hair was... She's she's worn that hair before. Okay, and then, for me, the winning look of the night. Oh, yes. Because you're a concept queen. Uh, sugar cane. Sugar cane as is Donald Trump. Donald Trump. From Hillary to Donald. But, okay, take away the Donald concept, okay? Just look at the, like, the tailoring on this suit. Oh, and it was made for her body. sparkly. Yeah. It was just, like, so well done. It was made for her body. The huge misstep for me. Oh, here we go. Do not. Here we go. Go on a runway. Here we go. With a Ziploc bag. Oh. Just put the Cheetos in your pocket and pull a Cheeto out of your pocket. Get a prop made. Get a, get a Cheeto bag prop made. Yeah. Why do you have... Why do you have a Ziploc bag, ma'am, on a on a national television show? It was, ugh, it was so. Uh, it was. It cheapened it for you. Pull it out of your wig. 
Pull it out of a loose pocket. Do not Girl, pull it out. Girl, pull it out of your wig. Yeah. Peel it off your skin. Silky one. Okay, let's talk about Silky's one. Did you think she deserved it? No. Really? Yes. Yes. I no, she, she did. deserved it. She she did great. I, of course, so that's the wrong way to put it. I don't mean that she didn't deserve it. I would have given it to Evie. Okay. okay. For her Kellyanne Conway, okay. who was there for a lot more than Oprah was, mm -hmm. and for her in completely original yet polished uh, runway, it outshone the 20 seconds of Oprah and the pageant gown for me. For these challenges, you want the role that's smaller because you have, I think, more time to prepare for it. You can be more impactful with that short amount of time. I mean, do you remember when Shea Kalei was... Splash. Uh, 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 Black China. Black China. Well, she came in there. Said it before. Did a chicken we'll dance. say it again. Uh -huh. The entire world would be a different place if Nina Bonina had been Black China. Oh, you think so? Completely different. Okay, we'll go back Completely and change that. World. Give us the butterfly effect. Mama. No, it's something I think Lee says that a lot on Twitter. <laughs> He uses that a lot. Shout out to Lee Dawson for always supporting our beautiful yeah, channel. We love her. Rest in peace, Lee Dawson, Lee Dawson PT. PT. May Lee Dawson. You know what VE? Yeah, you something? know what PT was? Personal trainer. VE, video editor. But see, that's God telling you. We're making a that's step That's Jesus up. telling you. That's Oprah saying, you're a video editor now. He was a personal trainer? I think like all muscular uh, people say that. I think he can uh, choke me anytime. I'll put it on my Only Chance account. Oh, Only Ooh. Chance. Which one of us could that be? So, Silky won. I think Evie should have won, but I think they both were great. Okay. So, fine. IMHL, I thought the minute that Silky walked out, she was going to win because she encompassed Oprah with only walking and smiling and holding her two hands out. But the bottom. But the bottom. So, we had... Mercedes and Raja. Mm -hmm. Didn't Raja lip sync? Yes. Yes. We have Mercedes and Raja mm -hmm. were our bottom two. Um, it was time for Mercedes to go. It was time for Mercedes to go. She didn't know her words. Seldom do the girls lip sync. She did not. Third lip sync. Yeah. She didn't know her words. She didn't know her words. And Raja did a great job performing. Yeah. She looked great. The lip sync was tight. I, like, it was fun to watch. Mm -hmm. Um. There were moments when they would zoom in on the judges after showing Mercedes, like, not knowing her words or her hat falling off or whatever. Um, I love that I called it a giant piece, like a hat. Her hat fell off. Um, but, and they were all, like, so it was very clear. Sucking their teeth. I will say, we had someone comment on our video last week, uh -oh. and I'm so sorry Here I we forgot go. your name. I meant to write it down, but it shook me so much that I screamed in all caps in reply to him. Um, but he mentioned, because they said next week was Trump the Rusical, um, we sent home the Muslim girl on the Trump challenge. Girl? Right? Girl? I didn't even think about that. And then that person did mm -hmm. it. And we sent her home because she wasn't like Ivana Trump enough. Isn't that crazy? I know that's a coincidence. I think it's something we all need to look inside of ourselves and investigate. This episode, she opened up about her, her, why, why she's not comfortable talking about being Muslim. She interrupted Nina West's Matthew Shepard story <laughs> to tell everybody that being Muslim is, like, difficult and all of that. Which, I'm glad she got out, because clearly that was something the producers were pushing, and she actually <sighs> seemed more comfortable with it. And as long as she's comfortable, I'm comfortable. But, so, she got sent home. Her, like, final statement, you know, on the runway was, like, Muslims are not terrorists. And, and then... What? She kind of does this, the chant that she... Or not chant. Oh, um, her... Oh, the oh, exclamation. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. I don't know exactly what that is. What a beautiful way to exit. You leave with the onomatopoeia that you entered in with. Oh, did, she did enter with that. She entered she? with that. Didn't she? Well, I have to say, Muslims are not terrorists is not, like, catchy. I don't know that, like... I, I don't mean, think that's a really I, good catchphrase. I don't think that's a great catchphrase. No. But, um... But fuck it, I'm so glad she said it. I just, like... Someone had to. The producers were, like, forcing this storyline on her and forcing her to open up even more... I thought it was a nice little mm -hmm. button to it that she came around. She talked. She talked to people. 
She talked to she people. She talked to people. Sorry, I get very, Sorry. very fancy. Spare some cock, sir, please. Please, sir. I want to destroy some cock. Spare some goofy dick, please. <laughs> <laughs> you can't, those are not, spa they're, so, they're not sparing lips. Oh, like, no, they're, no. Uh, they're so good. You have to work for You them. have to hold on to that. Uh, but yeah, so she left, um, I think, showing us everything she had. We saw all that she could do, and, and that was all she could do. Anything else about this episode that you want to highlight on? Speak uh, on? I thought, it was, I thought it was one of their best. It was one of the best of episodes. Yeah. It was a lot of fun to watch. Well written, great performances, political, what we needed to see. And I'm happy that it turned out the way it turned out, because well, I was girl, nervous. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, yeah, I loved it. I thought it was such a good episode. Um, I want to say that we have been reading the comments. We adore the comments. Yes, we do. Um, do you have a favorite comment? That oh, I do. I do, do have share? a favorite comment. Let's do it. Let's share okay. our favorite comment of last week. Okay. Every single week. This, I should, so right before we filmed this, I was like, I wonder if people are still watching our, our episode because the RuPaul episode had already aired. I was mm -hmm. like, this is old. Like, no one's watching this. So I was like, oh, I was surprised people were still watching it. I mean, happily surprised people were still watching it. And this one was centered around the confusion of who was, we didn't say our names at the top, who was Auntie Chan, who was mm -hmm. Dixie Lynn Cartwright? Yes. So, so difficult. Um, so let me read this to you because it's perfect. This is from Jose Brick Brickero. Mm -hmm. um, love you, girl. I just, I just loved this comment. I didn't want to say anything wrong, but who is who, and who is capitalized for no reason, which I adore. Uh, you didn't introduce yourself? I don't know if you can see this on your own, but the blondie girl has the darkness under her noise. I think he means nose. It looks like you're a cat. Is that the way your makeup is supposed to be? It reminds me of Trixie Mateo. I love her. You both beautiful, but the darkness under the noise gives the illusion of cat equals lady. Cat lady? Cat equals, equals lady. lady. Okay, so women are equal to cats now. Let me tell you, everything about this comment just... Makes uh, sense. Makes sense. I loved it. It oh made me God, giggle. Oh my drenched. It, I mean, girl, so wet. You're immediately. so... Immediately. The stool that you absorbed. I wish, I wish I could change my drag name to cat equal lady. <laughs> Well, that'd be amazing. Cat equal lady. That sounds like a wonderful <laughs> protest. I, I, I would participate in. Cat equal the lady. Right cause. So moving forward, it is IMHO with Chan and Cat equal lady. Yes. We are very slowly continuing to work on new stuff and new ideas. Mm -hmm. uh, but until then, we will definitely be back next week for another episode. Yes. So Chan, do you have anything you need to say to the people? Um. Get him out of office. Oh. Get him out. I know. Get him out, girl. I am what you talking about? Thank you so much for watching I am HO. Um, mm -hmm. Just to make it clear, again, I'm Auntie Chan. And I'm Trina Rex. You do look like her. Don't say that. Um, so thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next week. Goodbye. Bye. Do you think, Annyeong. Do you think people will notice that you switched to coffee in the middle for no reason? Um, I hope so. I love that it. That gives him a little it's Easter egg. Tama. I saw that. Is that the, that Japanese egg? With clinical depression. Relatable. <laughs>